Ah, a lovely stroll on the beach. Is there anything more idyllic? The sun shining, the waves lapping, and the sea breeze blowing. Who doesn't like to be beside the seaside? But wait, what's that? A snowball? A monster? A human body part? Yeah, it turns out some beaches have more on them than just shells, sunbathers, and ice cream trucks. You might just stumble across something far weirder on the shore. From funny to gruesome to totally insane, here are the 10 strangest things ever found on a beach. Amazing! Number 10. George Parker Bitter's Letters Here's a little piece of history. In 2015, walkers on the North Sea coast in Germany found a message in a bottle. Probably a kid having fun nearby or something is what they thought. When they opened it, the message inside was undated, so they weren't sure of its age, but they later discovered that this bottle had actually been in the sea for an astonishing 108 years. It contained instructions to send a postcard to the Marine Biological Association in Plymouth in England. So that's what they did. It turns out the bottle was one of 1,000 released into the North Sea between 1904 and 1906 by scientist George Parker Bitter, who was investigating tidal currents. Of course, George wasn't there to add this result to his research in 2015, and he might have been a bit disappointed to hear it hadn't even made it out of the North Sea in 108 years. A nice person in Plymouth still went to great lengths to honor the monetary reward promised, though. They had to go on eBay to buy an old English shilling. Number 9. A Giant Eyeball Number 9 is way more gruesome. Get ready to cover your eyes, or to cover the eye on the screen. Someone strolling along a Florida beach in 2005 came in for quite the surprise when he looked down and saw something staring back at him. A fish? No. A sunbather? Guess again. It was a huge eyeball, the size of a softball. What would you do if you found one of those? I'd probably pick it up and scare my friends with it. Or maybe I'd just run away. Luckily, the man who found the eyeball was brave enough to take it to researchers. After much deliberation, the scientists came to an agreement that this was the eye of a giant swordfish. Now a beach ball, a tennis ball, or a screwball ice cream, I'd be happy to see any of those on the beach. A swordfish's eyeball, now that's just creepy. Number 8. Doritos So you've heard of a beached whale, but I bet you've never heard of a beach snack. Our seas are full of way more things than just fish. On top of our oceans, there are thousands of ships carrying cargo from one location to another every single day. So what happens if there's a crash? Or if some of those cargo containers get dropped into the water? Well, eventually, things get washed up onto the shore, and this happened after a big storm in 2006. A container full of nothing but thousands of bags of Doritos was washed up on a beach in North Carolina. What did the locals think? This is an environmental catastrophe. Let's get down there and help out. Well, almost. More like, mm, I love Doritos. Let's get down there and eat some. Luckily for them, the foil-sealed bags meant that the crisps were still edible. So, they bagged themselves some free bags. I wonder if it would have been so easy to get rid of them had they been a healthier snack, like Revita. Number 7. World War II Love Letters Some people's true love may be potato chips, but number 7 is the story of a much greater love than that. One day after the devastating Hurricane Sandy, a 14-year-old boy was walking along a beach in New York. The storm washed several things ashore, including a set of letters tied together in a pink ribbon. They were a set of touching World War II love letters between a New Jersey woman named Dorothy Fallon and her husband-to-be, Lynn Farnham, who was away serving in the Pacific. They chronicle their love story, spending six years apart until 1948, with the last letter beginning, Darling, two weeks and we will be married. The boy set about investigating the couple and managed to track Dorothy Fallon, now Dorothy Farnham, down. The couple were indeed married, although Dorothy was now a widow at the age of 91. Nobody has any idea where the letters had been before the storm or how they came to be released or washed up like that, but Dorothy was overjoyed to be reunited with the story of her past. Aw, guys, I'm welling up. Better move on quick. <clears throat> Number 6. Lots of Cocaine Okay, so picture this. You're walking along a beach, minding your own business, and then you spot a pile of bags in the distance. As you get closer, you realize that what you were looking at is 78 kilograms of cocaine. Drugs are often transported by sea or air dropped, and once they're lost, the people involved are generally not too forthcoming in reclaiming them. So they're a fairly common find. But an amount like that is a pretty careless thing to lose. 
This stash was discovered on a beach just south of Tokyo and was estimated to have a value of 7.1 billion yen, which is 70 million US dollars. I wonder if the person who found them was tempted at all to just sell them, or to find another use for them. No, no. Just say no, kids. Just say no. Number 5. Lots of Snowballs So I'm pretty used to going to the seaside and being a bit disappointed by the weather when I get there. My knees knocking together in my swim shorts and thinking to myself that I should have brought a thick pillow and maybe even an umbrella. You think to yourself, I'm freezing, I'm literally freezing. But on this beach in Siberia, it can be literally freezing. Snowballs on a beach, that's something else. You know how to get smooth rocks on the beach quite often? That's because they've been smoothed down by the sea. Well, in very cold temperatures, pieces of ice can also gradually get rolled into spheres by wind and water currents. And in 2016, snowballs measuring up to a meter in diameter were washed up in Siberia, along an 18-kilometer stretch of coastline. It's a pretty rare phenomenon, and the locals seem to enjoy it. I'd say, while the scientific explanation is possible, how can they be so sure it's not mermaids trying to start a snowball fight with us, huh? How can they be really sure? Number 4. Severed Feet If the giant swordfish eye scared you, definitely look away now. Every now and again, something truly horrifying washes up on the coast of British Columbia in Canada and Washington in the US. Several human feet, still in their shoes, yes really. The feet of over 14 different people have been found. Why only feet and not other body parts? Well, it could be a big gangster call, of course, but it's also true that shoes often have buoyancy in them that will allow them to travel through the ocean more easily. So they could be from any natural or unnatural disaster that had several victims, such as a tsunami or a plane crash. A couple of feet have been identified as actually belonging to locals who had committed suicide. Is it just me, or are all of these theories equally as distressing? Let's move on. Number 3. The St. Augustine Monster Monster! Old monster! This ginormous body washed up on a beach in Florida way back in 1896. Two young boys found it and thought it was a whale, but the experts disagreed. As the investigation rolled on, the story really hit the headlines, with everyone desperate to find out what this deep-sea monster could have been. The scientists struggled, as it was so decayed. It was basically what I'd call a USO, an unidentifiable swimming object. They did think that the creature had tentacles. So, the scientists concluded that it was the remains of a giant, a very giant, octopus. It was never certain, though, and conspiracy theories of aliens were rife in America for over a century. DNA analysis in 2004 finally reached a conclusive solution. It was a whale. The boys were right in the first place. Take that, scientists! Number 2. Glass Well, I thought you deserved a break from the gruesome ones. Here's a pretty one for you. In Fort Braggs in California, there's a glass beach. For the first half of the 20th century, Nearby beaches were used as a dumping ground for old glass and other big household items. Over time, large amounts of glass has washed up on beaches here. Sounds pretty dangerous, right? But it isn't. The ocean has worked its magic and smoothed the glass down. It's full of beautiful, colorful glass pebbles. Lovely. Number 1. Lego Another cargo ship issue led to hundreds of pieces of Lego being washed up on the beaches in Devon and Cornwall on the south coast of England. But that doesn't even come close to the weirdest Lego find ever. Look at this giant Lego figure. This guy is 8 feet tall and has been found in various places all around the world, from the US to the UK to the Netherlands to Japan. His name is Ego Leonard, and he wears a t-shirt with a message no real than you are on it. What else could be responsible for something as nuts as this but modern art? Ego Leonard is a pseudonym for a Dutch modern artist. This Lego man is a marketing stunt for his or her exhibitions. Well, I hope I haven't put you off going to the beach with this video. Have you ever spotted anything weird on the shore? Stranger than a severed foot or a giant Lego? If so, leave us a comment below to let us know. Thanks for watching, and if you like this list, please check out our other videos and subscribe to be amazed.